Hi everybody, Jo here. Thanks for popping in again. I hope you've got your brew. Got a nice coffee here. Today, I'm still in my using scraps of card up. I'm a bit in one of that phases. And also, I'm creating cards that I'm donating to my local church. Um, they like to sell them for funds. So this is a lovely, I think, generic design. Again, just for you. It could be a birthday. It could be get well soon, thinking of you. So that's my theory behind today. I always like to explain what I'm doing and why. So we're going to start off. Now, I did think to measure this before, but you know what? My head... I do forget things easily these days. So this is a piece of card, three and a half inches by three and a half inches. I found I've got a lot this sort of size. I think it must be the, the size of offcuts I have. And I'm going to start by just putting my Sharpie line round. And as you know, unfortunately, I have to do this at the beginning because if I don't, it's going to whiz right across with the best bezel in the world. I am one of those people and we'll just do a quick and again I'm looking forward to the coloured the gold and silver sharpies coming into the stores ready for Christmas and we'll just let's get a cleaner piece now now the stamp I'm using today is this lovely one and it's called Chinese lanterns and again, I haven't used this for a while, so I'm going through my stamps that I haven't used for a while. We'll just ink it up in black. Versifying Claire, the Nocturne. And I want to sort of stamp it a bit at an angle. These are lovely, but I do find once you get them in the garden, they do come up all over, especially where you don't want them. Mine are just about coming into flower or head or whatever they are at the minute. We'll give that a good, oh, look at that, lovely. Oh, and while we've got it, let's stamp it on the envelope as well. Check it's the right way. While we're inking up. And again, as you know, I've started stamping on the left-hand bottom corner of my envelopes because we've got such big postage stamps now in the UK that I feel if somebody puts a big postage stamp here, the address, that's going to be really appealing. So we'll pop that over there and just give this a bit of a blot. And I'm going to add some of my ink around and I'm coming in with Stormy Sky and this is in the Oxide. Just because the Oxide, you could use Distress, you could use any of your um, element inks. It's just the Oxide were on my desk at the time. So with it being, I like to just make an extra little card each day if I can in my coffee break. So I like to use just what's on my desk. Sometimes I think we almost think about things too much. I know I get so many messages when you say your mojo's gone and you sit in your craft room looking at all your stuff. And, and often my answer is stop looking and maybe just pick something and have a play. So just while we're talking, I've got prize ribbon now and I'm just going to come in on the corners, not going all the way around, just adding that darker colour just on those corners. And then I'm going to come in with my fan brush and we'll add some nice water splats. And then that can just be full bleaching while I clean this up. So we'll have a spritz of water. Now again, I know I could dip my card in there, but that would just give me another background to use up and I have got a pile I'm trying to use up at the minute. So we can have a sip of our coffee. And look at that, I love that. And just with having the, the darker colour in the corners. So I'm going to come in with Crackling Campfire. Pop a little bit on my mat. And then I'm just going to watercolour paint. As you know, I'd love to be able to watercolour paint. So it's my attempt at watercolour painting. And again, this is a lovely thing to do at coffee break. I've had so many messages recently about the best pens to use, the best pencils to use. And, you know, 
often, if I'm actually using what's on my desk, I use the actual ink that I've used for the background only because if you're looking at, you know, limited products, it's a lovely way of using your ink. I mean, I could have got my pencils out. But as I say, I'm just going on my coffee break, so it's using what's on my desk. And I do find this is a lovely challenge. You know, so if your mojo has gone and, you know, you are joining me, why not look on your desk and see what you've got? I mean, it might be you've got a couple of items you can use and you need to get another item out, which is fine. You know, I don't think the craft police are going to come after you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about just getting those crafty juices flowing. And for me, this is just a lovely way of doing it. And you know what? Even if you made this card and you'd no idea the occasion you were making it for, if it gets Mr Mojo back, entices him back, well, it's worth it. It's quite funny at the minute, Elliot, our eldest grandson, him and Jensen, they're both heavily into Pokemon. Now, if you've not heard of Pokemon, well, they're just characters. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Um, funny enough, both our boys were into them when they were younger. So, I, you know, I know about Pokemon. Anyway, we have a, an app on my phone and we have to go around collecting, capturing these Pokemon. And at various places, they have these Pokestops. So it gets in walk and we go to parks and things. And, and it's just such a, a lovely thing to do. And again, I've got him a colouring book and he's been colouring them in. You know, and... and it's just get the enthusiasm in. It's like that. He, he really loves colouring in. And oh, he spent hours. Just hours. And, and that's what you need to do. Just enjoy yourself. Just entice Mr Mojo back and just see if you can keep him. So we'll clean that up now. And then... What I'm going to do is just give it a very quick waft with my heat tool. And this is my, my drying heat tool. So it's the Ranger Craft tool. Perfect for drying. And again, just a quick whiz on the front and a quick whiz on the back. And then I just want something else in the, in the background. Now, you could leave it like this, but I just want a little bit more interest. And as you know, I've got a favourite script stamp, and this is the Sacred Spells. So when I was looking at my blues, I decided to go for Paradise. I thought the warm breeze would be a bit light, and I didn't want anything too dark. The twilight's quite dark, so I decided I'd go for a bit of Paradise. But again, look what's in your stash have a play and as always I've got an arrow on the back so I know which way up to have this and I'm just going to I've not got it on the block I'm just I want it not on the block I just want to be able to press and just get yeah a little bit here let's see if we've got anything left on just by yeah and maybe a little bit in this corner yeah, that's enough. I'm going to leave that. I like that. But what I am going to do is going to come in with my Wink of Stella. Just to add a bit more sparkle. Here. And again, I love this. Now, you could use your stickles and paint it on. But the Wink of Stella will just give me. And as it dries, you'll be able to see more of that sparkle. Let's bring in the finished one, see if I can show you. Can you, are you going to get that sparkle? Need a good cameraman, don't I? I think you can get it on the butterfly. But believe you me, the sparkle's there. And just for the lovely highlights, I'm going to come in. This is one of my glittery signal pens. And just here. Now again, you could leave these white if you want. Might get my head in shot. I mean, there are so many possibilities with this stamp. 
Now I'm thinking let's just add a little bit on top of some of these just just because we can. And I think that just gives it extra sparkle, don't you? Just a, a bit of something. So if I just find my card blank, I'm just going to wipe my hands on my inky binky because a white card blank, obviously, hmm, that spell can spell disaster, can't it? And I've got a sentiment from the heartfelt verses. And this is, I think we'll put birthday wishes on this one. You know me, don't like doing the same card exactly. <laughs> have to mix it up a bit, don't we? And we'll just put birthday wishes in the middle there. Lovely. And then we'll just add, so we're back to that belt and braces. So just going to add some finger lift tape. And again, I just put it on all four sides. And just turn over. It's funny how you get in a routine, isn't it? We all have our own little, but whatever tape, whichever glue you use. And then I come in with my bippity boppity glue. Okay. Let's go for this one. Thing is, that I haven't opened my new one properly, yet and this one's nearly finished. So there we go. And then let's just pop this sort of there. I think we've got a bit of wiggle time, and then just take these out. I'm just going to put my kitchen roll on while I give it a good, just conscious of those finger marks. And we can get rid of that. And I'm just going to come in with my Posca. And this is the orange sparkly one. And we'll just add a couple of little sparkly. Now again, if you're not into your Posca splats, you could leave this off. But I think that just nice design right across the card i'm going to bring my envelope in and again permanent once this dries it's permanent so it doesn't matter if it gets wet if the person sends this in the post but again for me that just ties the whole thing together and then my last little finishing trick is I'm going to get in my tin and I have to say when I've done workshops it's so lovely to find out that so many of you have your butterfly tins now and again when Mr Mojo's not as he should be you've been cutting your butterflies out and that's fabulous so look here we have one in just the right colour tones what are the chances of that so let's have a look and again I've cut the antennae off because I'm just going to draw them on now I could put it there We'll put it there on this one again, just because we can. So I'm decided it's going there. So let's draw the antennae in. And I've popped a little bit of Wink of Stella on there. Now, where did I put my glue? Do you know what? That craft fairy has definitely been in my craft room. Hiding things. So you could pop this on flat. You alright Eric? Sorry, he's just dreaming. Bless him. You alright mister? I think he's chasing his tennis ball. So I'm going to put a little bit of 3D glue gel just because I want it slightly raised. Not too much. Make sure that lid goes on nice and firm. And then there we go look. A lovely card well I think it's a lovely card I hope you do too that we've just made in our little coffee break together and I'm thinking that would just go for so many different occasions and do you know what I've enjoyed just doing that I'm prepping for workshops at the minute and it, it, it's lovely because I can't wait to see the ladies at the workshop. It's got so many lovely things planned. But sometimes it's nice to just go away and feel I'm creating a card that I'm going to give away. And hopefully it'll give somebody else some pleasure. 
And for me, that's so important. It's so important to give things back. Too many people in this world just take, take, take. And I just think it's lovely. So, well, let's hope it sells and it helps raise some pennies. So thanks for popping in. I hope today treats you well. And I hope you're at peace with yourself. You take care from me. Love and hugs from now. Bye for now.